What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justin Foles. We back at it again with another video. Today we're looking at Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. This is the remake to the to Final Fantasy to Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. It came out for the PSP back in the day, if you remember the PSP. And now they're remaking it for modern consoles. So without further ado, we are gonna check out this latest trailer. Oh yeah, the pianos. The piano is going crazy. This game was so fire. Like, if you missed it on PSP, I suggest you go play that and get this when it come out. Nice. Even for back then, on the PSP, it was a dope-looking game. Like, it was one of the best-looking games on the PSP for that, you know, for that time period. Mm. What's that, Ifrit? Or... I forget the name of that one. Odin, you got Baphomet, Ifrit, Odin, all, all of the classic summons. Okay. Wait, how did I miss this? 10 minutes of gameplay. December 13th. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What Hulu Plus Live TV is. It come out December 13th. Live channels with sports like NFL games plus Disney Plus. plus they gave 10 minutes of gameplay and I missed it? Plus Live TV. What? I don't know if that's copyright because I always get copyright when I let the ads play. Okay, I remember this boss. Well, this video is going to turn out to be longer than you I thought it was. The anti -soldier monsters. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Yeah, the, the, the battle system was like a slot machine kind of vibe. And you could trigger special attacks when you get certain combinations of, of characters. This looks clean. Better run for it. Like this is this is an example of one of the attacks. And the limit limit break attacks. He throwing hands. You know, with the psycho crusher, like bison. This looks really clean. I like this. Like you see, when you hit the certain slots, you trigger certain memories, and you you get to do certain attacks. It's, it's dope. It's dope. You could turn like I know. I remember in the PSP game, you could turn these animations off, so they'll probably have the same option in um in the other one too. In the new in this new one too. Right. I'm ready to be a hero. Hmm. Flip resolve. There you go. Music is fire as always. Soldier second class Zach. Victorious again. Good work. Now get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard. Are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. <sighs> Oh nope. No time to play. We ain't finished this yet. The graphics is, is really dope. They really paid attention to detail with this. I feel like I feel like they built this from the ground up type shit. And 
No, that's gotta be Angio. Yep. The the that's original wielder of the Buster Sword. You lost your focus. Uh yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> if you don't know the story here, it's, very, it's a very touching and depressing story. Um, if you've seen any of the other uh, trailers for this game, you know... The sword eventually comes into Zack's possession. And then, as you obviously know from if you play Final Fantasy VII, it comes into Cloud's possession. So Cloud, at some point, becomes a part of this story. You know, I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm going to tell you it's a really good story. And it ties into the world of Final Fantasy VII perfectly. Thanks. I'm here. I must apologize. Being on site is taxing. You didn't have to come personally. I felt that. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier Second Class Zek. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamlin. Indeed. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... You are a force of nature. You somehow defeated an entire enemy force by yourself. Because we like that. I was shocked as well. You've grown strong. Your bravery during the Wu-Tai War will be remembered for generations. It seems your dream of becoming bravery a hero during the Wu Clan, what? has already yeah. come true. Director Lazard, that's a bit much. Zack here still has a lot to accomplish. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Zach, keep up the good work. Fire omelet obtained. Zach, let's go. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth? The hero? Wow, I'm gonna be the hero. <laughs> you see how... <laughs> you just see how it is, like how, how he sees Sephiroth, Sephiroth as a hero. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's cool to see the origins of the world of Final Fantasy VII. Or maybe not the origins, but just like an earlier period in, an earlier period in Final Fantasy VII lore. Um, I know they retconned a lot in the remake, but I don't think they'll deviate too much from the story with this one. At least not from what I've seen so far. If anything, they'll add more to add more context to the story. Take the director to safety. Contact Sephiroth. Zack can handle it. Now go. Follow me, director. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist and geo. Yeah, I'm on it. You can save right there. Yeah, I remember the save points. What is that? I need to. I need to prepare. That's if for activating combat mode. Yep. If that's the OG summon, man. My son, everywhere, every game. He getting mixy too, like he's doing heavy damage. Oh, 
Here we go. See, now, with that ability power thing, I think that's a new mechanic. I think they said that was a new mechanic in the other trailer we watched. Um, basically, um, when they're loading up for the special attack, you can lower its effectiveness by the amount of percentage you get it down to. If you get it down to zero, then I think you knock them into, like, a stun mode, and then you could just wail on them. Better heal because your health is low. He probably died once. Mm. But an octa slash, okay. Better use it. There you go. There you go again. Now, now the special attack is going to be even more weak. Well, actually, he stopped it. He stopped it there. Now you defeated Ifrit. Now you get to, uh, I do believe you get to use him as a summon. And there goes Sephiroth. Oh my God. He's so cool. Mm. Why was Sephiroth so OP? Like, it took so much to defeat him in seven. And it took so much to defeat him in this game. Like you do face him in this game. I don't think that's much of a spoiler because obviously he obviously at some point you're gonna realize that he's evil. Genesis. The plot will develop. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting that, around that, here. That's what Shinra be doing, man. So he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way. I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he'd never do that. Angeal wouldn't betray us. Never! And that's that so that was a that was a perfect uh ending to that little section of the game we got to see a, we got to see two pretty pretty much two boss fights and some regular um a little bit of regular combat um and a little bit of the story so uh again this is a very touching and sad story i'm interested in how i'm interested what they'll do to add on and tell to tell the story a little bit different and what they'll add and what they'll take out but um so that it can correlate to what they did with the Final Fantasy VII remake. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting. So um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all think it's y'all copying this. Have you played the original Final Fantasy? Comment down below if you've played the original Final Fantasy Crisis Core and what you think about it compared to this. Don't let me know. So um, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy Justice Falls and we out. One. Thank you.